Welcome to Biscuit 10 RPG, everyone. Uh, sorry we didn't have a game last night. We had uh, some last-minute cancellations. People weren't able to make it, so I made the call and said, uh, nope. We should be back next week. Um, the rest of this month should be good for both campaigns. Uh, next month, however, um, after the first week, I am convention, 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 not going to be available. Uh, so there will be no games for a majority of next month. <clears throat> but until then, we're going to game and have some fun or die trying. Uh, that being said, uh, go check out Biscuit10RPG.com. Yes, that's right. I own the thing, and I made it look nice. It's fun. You should check it out. It's also got links to all the places that I use. Uh, you can join our mailing list. If you want to find out when I do sales, you'll be the first to find out. Um, so, yeah, go check it out. Go check out the wares. Go uh, check out First Gate, Competing with the Absurd, uh, Blood Magic. That's fun. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to have to ask Mike if I can use that in one of his games. <laughs> and he'll look at me and go, you're a horrible person. But without further ado, Mike, take it away. This one knows you are a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, y'all. Let's uh, jump right back to the City of Illumination, back to my world of Anzoria, where our intrepid sand swimmers are within a collapsing eye of the storm, a massive storm. Facing on the spawn of a evil deity. But first, a quick, quick summary of what happened last week or two weeks ago. The Sand Swimmers continued their foray into the, at the moment, calm eye of a massive storm within the torn atolls. Pushing for these glowing orbs of different colors and powers, they soon eventually came to a crossroads with an incoming grouping of Helvaskers, these half-giants, half-whales that serve the ancient primordial deities of the Tridents and Sea Elves. At first engaging them as the large, imposing um, newcomers arrived to uh, most notice noticeably secure the orbs back away from the locations uh the party was on the verge of fighting two different fronts until the arrival of the d1 manvis who'd arrived to notify the party that the two ocean two walker was in trouble uh, however they were already in pressing matters assisting with a short parlay the two groups came to an understanding and Reveling in the ostentatious influence and infamy of the Sandstormers, the newcomers agreed that they had the chances and the power to destroy the spawn of Nice Aurelia, known as the Caribidus, and destroy her beacon, you could say, of powers within the material plane, her own staff. So the party set out within the storm, now becoming more enraptured with fury and spitefulness from the seething influences of the vault below. They secured all, um, including securing one from the Megalodon, which the party noticed, and especially Bismuth, uh, began to understand a little bit more about how vast and capacity of potential his newfound hybrid powers could bestow upon him for his future. Managed to secure it and agree for all parties to con converge on one located enemy. That would be the Caribidus. The fissure on the far side at the edges of the eye of the storm began to burst with this inky substance, this ichor, this oil. And rising from it, <clears throat> two Krakens, very large adult ancient Krakens, emerged to engage the party. Managing to almost take down one and suppress the another, Ox, with his imperious, impetuous nature, jumped into the massive rolling whirlpool only to find out that the massive whirlpool was in fact the Caribidus' maw. And that's where we find ourselves. The Sandstormer is within it, as always, uh, standing on business, as you could say. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we need an adult. Adults. <laughs> <laughs> adults, you left the adults on the uh, on the on the beach when you and drove some, away with her boat. And some of them are made of stone. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, yeah. So the rolling storm around you is beginning to increase in tempo. The ring that once had this clear overview of the oceans around you is beginning to shrink as with the release of the Caribdis, the mass amount of influence and power of Nicerelia is spewing into the material plane. Lightnings beginning to drop more intensely as the battle rages on and tidal waves are beginning to make crashes along the edges and are making their way and converging towards this location. So those that are on the rocks are not safe anymore. But down below, the majority of the party, which includes the D1, uh, Largo, the Megalodon itself, and Tav, are engaging and are almost on the verge of destroying, completely obliterating this ancient kraken, while another one is fighting deeply below the ocean over here with another one of Largo's companions, the last remaining, the trio, and Ox. Swimming, you grab onto... As you can see, there are like several layers that go very down deep of exposed ocean atmosphere, I guess, area. And you see that these serrated teeth mark out these sort of lanes, these rings. Um, as you grab onto one, maybe with your sword, or with your bare hands, uh, just trying to keep flow and keep your head above water, even though you can't swim and breathe underwater, uh, you know that you don't want to allow yourself to just be pulled in recklessly. Um, the situation has break. turned... <laughs> right. It's best to ride the waves for now um, until you can actually do something. But let's go ahead and see what uh, the turnover is going to be with uh, a new role of initiative. Uh, the water uh, is also rising on these islands as well. Go to Lena... Uh, Silver, they slip a few times being caught by Gassan and even Steven, thankfully. Steven's like flies underneath uh, Silver's tush and just like, pushes her up a little bit. <laughs> um you're, busy. you're you're like what five five feet above the water? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and roll for initiative and we'll sort everything out after that. All right. Twenty two team. <laughs> Uh, 13, and then you said 22? Mm-hmm. All right, Tev? 21. 21. All right, looking great. Looking very good. Yay. Uh, the allies get a plus th three. And then the enemies all roll 30s. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, seven for the allies, of course. Why wouldn't they? Um, I'll, I'll leave the Megalodon on its own. Uh, the Kraken gets Kraken's. Still, still plural. <clears throat> it's a plus one, five. Nice, nice. yay! <laughs> Looking Take. better. Megalodon gets a plus. No, okay. three. Oh, sorry. Oh, all right. <laughs> three, Eighteen. So the megalodon, that's fine. He can go forty-first. <laughs> right. And the curve just gets a big fat minus two. That's a zero. Yes. <laughs> exactly where I had it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So current initial order goes Ox and Company, or Ox mm. and his company, which is his items. Uh, Tav and <laughs> Company. By my items. <laughs> yeah. The Megalodon, Biz and Company, your allies, the Krakens, and the Caribidus itself. We go with that initial order right there? I think we honestly have to be. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, you always want to switch between tags. We're obviously things. going in just order, and then yeah, it's yeah. the enemies. So it's like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. Cool. So uh, at the beginning of turn, Ox. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can. You're too in th uh, enveloped in the surrounding maw of this monster you're within. Mm -hmm. um, but just outside, you can see the uh, the gushing of like all this tar and ichor. Uh, most likely coming from the fissure deep below. Mm -hmm. 
um, that is sort of spraying on either side of the Kerbis as you spin around. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you like to do, my friend? Oh my god. Well, first of all, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm not scared, but I'm not brave either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm neutral. I am neutral I'm in pragmatic. my feelings right now. I just look at this and go, well, this could be better. <laughs> um, he's actually quite big if I zoom back in. Uh, we're not on the map yet. Oh, that's right. Sorry. No worries. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. All right. He's very big. Oh God! He is really big. Let's go ahead and share this for the. For There's the so many big creatures that yeah. I'm like, where's Tavin? All them? Like, oh, there. there. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're all dinky dinky. Oh, Got little, it. Little small little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh man. Okay. So real quick to cover what's going on, on the map. Um, we'll start over here. Obviously, Ox in in the thick of it. The Megalodon Largo, the leaders over here. Manvis is grappled by this Kraken, who is on the verge of dying. Uh. Tavs or right there. There are two down here, the Kraken and the other Helvasker uh below you, Biz, but you can no longer see them since they're at least 80 feet below. That since that goes beyond your range, if you can see that good. And the rest down here are struggling to stay on the rock as the rain and downpour um just increases, intensifies. So, Nox, what are you doing, my man? I don't even know how I would begin to attack something this large. Um, Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rage. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I would be upset too. <laughs> this is very upsetting for me. I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> I'm in its headspace, and I'm not a fan. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop the rage, and that is... Oh, the one time I want to do that. Okay. Uh, six. Uh, I have a plus one to my AC, and so does anyone within ten feet of me until my rage hits. Anyone? Uh, no, any of my allies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, my, burr, 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 burr. All right. Um, so I'm raging. I'm pretty upset yeah. about it. Um. Yeah. Hmm. You're just spinning in circles. I am spinning in circles. There are these large, massive, like, bone scythes within the maw that try to, like, at pretty good speed to swipe at you, but for right now you're okay. up and <laughs> hiding between each tooth, swimming to the other ring. It's oh, it's pretty bad. It's a, it's a fuster clock, you know? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> so, uh, let me see here. I may just have to do this and make it do it or take half, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I am. Where the hell's my customize? Okay. All right. Yep. Um, I don't want to get any closer. Um, is this is this a whirlpool that's heading more towards the center as I stay in the same spot, or is it? Just going in a circle. It's currently, it, it's hard to tell because it's so big. It's so immense. Okay. Um, but you can imagine that it's moving somewhere. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, in my rage, I am, uh, I'm going to try to move further to the outside. Yes. Um, you don't have a swim speed, correct? I do not. Okay. You still have to make a athletics check. At disadvantage. Uh, but at normal, because I'm At normal, because you're raging. Correct. <laughs> Perfect. Athletics. Great. Wow. That's a seven. That's... <laughs> so as you move... Oh, sorry. Oh, he's a little bit closer. Nope. Nope. Right there. There you go. As you move, I would assume it's the closest that you can get out of here. Yeah. Uh, you go back ten feet in. Uh, in that case, as, as one of like the like the chain of teeth catch onto your leg, rips into your calf, and pulls you in further. Oh, you son of a bitch! All right, uh, I am going to use my action then, uh, to use every single point I have to punish the weak. He needs this thing needs to make a Constitution save. Con save. 
which it probably will, which is fine. Oh, let me just uh I'll I'll take that six. It's a plus fifteen. So oh. twenty one. Uh this is based off of my paladin thing, so it is actually an eighteen. Nice. So it takes forty five necrotic damage. Is that already halved? Uh no, that is not halved. Okay. That's great. This thing is a 40 constitution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, just, that's fine. I'm going to guess it has just a few hit points. <laughs> it, has, it, has, it has some hit points, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's that. Uh, I've got nothing else I can do, I don't think. Um, let me see here, because I don't think... No... What does it look like again? You're, uh... Oh, this is me channeling the darkness within and yeah. then pouring it out of my hands as I touch Ooh. this thing. Yeah, your darkness, whatever um, its shade is, it does... It, you, it's a noticeable attack and securement of your own area. Uh-oh. How should I put it? It, it sort of like calcifies the teeth and bones that are serrated everywhere and rings around you. Yep. Um, so yeah. So there's a, there's, a, there's a somewhat distinct notice of darkness pouring from each of you. <laughs> oh, good. So did this thing do anything or did it just seem unfazed? It It's very hard to tell because you don't even see the body. You just, you know. But you did, I will say as a DM, you did do damage. So Okay. Okay. That's good. I'm just glad it didn't <laughs> do the opposite. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is... All right. Well, uh, that's that's all I got. My uh, items don't have any actions. So next. Am I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, mm -hmm. hang on. Uh, I think I'm getting uh, lag. Uh, let me okay. check. Definitely hits. I, didn't, I didn't hear anything that just happened. Like, can, you, can you hear me right now? Oh. Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm just checking my internet. Uh, I may need to that, restart. That hits also, so... Oh. Uh, no. I'll run a con 40. He has like a con 25. 24 piercing damage to the Kraken. Don't forget, the I use P I, I get proficiency bonuses too. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's the same as like plus. Five from like third edition now. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we use proficiency bonuses in this, this edition. So what, what was that? Oh, sorry. Uh, 24 piercing damage. 24 piercing damage. Okay. Um, yeah. That um, will kill. This kraken. How do you slay this kraken? As it, it's it's wrapped around Manvis, who's about to rip it in half, him in half. You sort of just lunge forward. What does it uh, look like? Like I swim as fast as I can, almost like a bolt through the water, ready my raper and swim right into right between its eyes and stab it and sink as far my hands as far as I can. Hell yeah. Plus, his time stood still for a moment and allowed you to transcend such speeds. As you look at supernal clarity, sort of all. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to help Ox. It's, it... no, nah, it's fine. Darkness is. <laughs> you can see like a, 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 a like a. a Darkness and water. You, it's very visible within the dark ocean already. And above you, you can see that the sky above is lighting up with lightning bolts. And you can see oh, the tens of lightning bolts just dropping all around. And those that are above ground, including you, Biz, the lightning bolts you see on the map now, that's like times times 10. There's like a bolt at like every five or six spaces. It is just hammering away like a Gatling barrage. <laughs> God. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna drink a regular health pot. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> 
<laughs> what are you doing now, man? Well, I mean, you're in water. I mean, <laughs> if you open that bottle, it's a uh, it's done deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I moved as far as I can, and now it's time for Steven that is gonna drink get a pair of health post because he has five uh, before HP. he before he does before he does it, he must make a dexterity saving throw. God, at the start of his turn, correct? Damn it! Yep. Come on! Oh, oh, God! This plus this plus nine eighteen. 18. You just passed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So three bolts hit all around the party. Obviously closest to Steven. He managed to avoid them. Even risking flight to evade it. Okay. And he jumped into the water. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Coda is just like, Stevie, where are you going? <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> uh, 20, he has, I think, he has 45 speed. Yeah, 25. So he's going to start to swim towards Biss. Hey, Mike. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to break for just a second because I have to shut everything down. And restart. Yeah, so his internet's... um. Yeah. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you need you to do? Need you do. Oh, okay. No. Cool. I'm gonna shut You're down. Good. I will. Uh, I'll be back, and yeah. then we can let them know what happened. You guys can keep going. For sure. For sure. All right. Sorry. What was I? Doing?